Hello, showing off my two chassis. Yes, uh, Usukani and G. It's so good that I have to buy two because um, they do make limited quantities and once it's out of stock, you can't find it anymore. So this is my new, newly built one. Uh, stock setting. The only thing different is the Rhino Max inside. It improved the performance so much. This is my first Usukani. Also fitted a Rhino Max, but I took out the active toe. So the only difference is the shock at the back. Uses two spring, and in the front, I'm using Year Racing hard spring. All right. This I'm using the original stock from Usukani. So there are pro and cons. The softer body feel make it very smooth and soft to drift. For this car, <coughs> I like it hard in the front. Reason is this here. Yeah. Uh, at the back, it's quite soft. There's body roll. Um, this car is set up that it does very quick dive into the direction you want. The harder the spring in front, the better the response in the in the switching and turning. Provided that your back is um, fitted with the right shock that's not too hard and not too soft, it provides enough squat and bounce up, you see? And this is uh, anti-torque, which means the car will squat at the back. The moment you release the throttle, the motor reflex will hop upwards like that. Okay, it will go up like that. The spring will push it up together with the motor upward. So this added a lot more movement energy. It transfer to the front. When the cramp full lock, it will transfer to the direction you want. You do not want too much cushioning as such that the spring is taking away the movement energy to the front. Okay? So I like this to be more aggressive. This one, I like it to be very soft. Very soft cruising chassis, which is the stock setting and it's the best. I like it because uh, for beginners, if I do have friends coming to play, I can always let them play this chassis so they can have a feel of how Usukani NG is like. So Ackerman wise, it's super easy to tune the Ackerman. Alright, this is the stock setting Ackerman. I didn't change much. <sighs> this is my first chassis Ackerman and I modified it a little bit more deep in because I want a more aggressive deep angle in. All right. So I'm going to showcase how this car move with this tire. DS Racing Com3 LF5T. The hardest depressed tire now in the market. I'm, I'm using a Rhino Max. And notice that when I light pulse, the fracture will come. The car will want to dash. You have to pin it at the right angle. In order you can activate the uh, active differential gear. So let me just cruise around a little bit. You want a quick recovery at the corner? Right here. Slow down a little bit. Quick recovery. Accelerate out. One thing I like about um, why I took out my active toe is because I wanted to feel the active differential gear with the Rhino Max. As I showed you before, right? If you actually put it up here, the wheels is spinning. I press it down this side more. The wheel is not spinning, but the one on the right is spinning. 
but when I pulse it, you force it to poke out, you're actually locking it. So this is a very useful mechanism where you can go slowly like cruising under open differential gear, very light cruising. The moment you pulse, you will just go. That's all.